do you know the father of modern-day gynecology? James Marion Sims is an American physician in the field of surgery born in the 25th of January 1813. He is known as the father of modern gynecology, but also as a controversial figure. Many ethical questions have been raised on how he developed his techniques. His most significant work was the development of a surgical technique for the repair of vesicovaginal fistula, a severe complication of obstructed childbirth. He is also remembered for inventing Sims speculum, Sims sigmoid catheter, and the Sims position. However, as medical ethicist Baron H. Lerner states, one would be hard-pressed to find a more controversial figure in the history of medicine. In Montgomery, between 1845 and 1849, Sims conducted experimental surgery on 12 enslaved black women with fistulas in his backyard hospital. They were brought to him by their owners. Sims asked for patients with this fistula, and, succeeded in finding six or seven women. Sims took responsibility for their care on the condition that the owners provide clothing and pay any taxes, while he provided food. He named three enslaved black women in his records, Anerja, Betsy, and Lucy. Each suffered from fistula, and all were subjects of his surgical experimentation. From 1845 to 1849 he conducted experimental surgery on each of them several times, operating on Anerja 30 times before the repair of her fistulas was declared a success. Notwithstanding repeated failures during four years' time, he kept his six patients and operated until he tired out his doctor assistants. And finally had to rely upon his patients to assist him to operate. Although anesthesia had very recently become available and used experimentally, Sims did not use any anesthetic during his procedures on these three women. He was greatly criticized till today about the manner he made his operations. Sims suffered two angina attacks in 1877, and in 1880. Contracted a severe case of typhoid fever. He was positive that he had a serious disease of the heart and it caused deep mental depression. He was halfway through writing his autobiography and planning a return visit to Europe when he died of a heart attack on November 13, 1883 in Manhattan, New York City. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like and share the video.